Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and if you're new here, welcome to The Daily Tea. Today's video is going to be of me showing you all how I cut and style my TWA. So if you want to know how I got this cut and this style, keep on watching. Okay you guys, so as you can see I am rocking my little TWA. I have been natural since 2007. I have cut my hair so many times, I have lost count. Um, but this time around, I decided to really keep it short and I enjoy it short. So I'm just gonna cut these curls down a little bit so I can maintain everything. So let's go. First, I'm going to be taking my pick and picking out my hair. I'm just going to be getting rid of any tangles or snags and making sure that I comb my hair out so that it is at its maximum length so that I can prepare myself for the clippers. I'm taking the number three guard with the lever open, not closed as you can see, and I'm just going to start by pretty much trimming all over my head and, and not any particular way I'm just getting the bulk of the hair off and I'm just trying to get it all one length all around and the reason why you want the lever open on the side is because if it's closed it's gonna take off more hair so I'm not trying to take off too much hair so I'm gonna keep it open just brushing off some of that hair so that my clippers do not get clogged. Next I'm going in with my number two guard which is the purple one and now I'm just going to be tapering around my hairline, my edges, and the nape of my neck. Um, the lever is open so we're now creating uh, the, I guess you can say like the taper if you will. So I'm just focusing that on, again, like I said, my edges and the nape of my neck so I can get rid of more hair. And here I am just closing the lever so that I can create a closer cut. And I'm just going back over all of those places where I had already once trimmed over. Now I'm gonna open that lever back up. I'm still using the number two guard and I'm just going to cut all over my head so that I can create a nice blend so that is no discrepancies from the back of my hair where I tapered it and along the side so it just blends evenly. Okay, now I have switched to the number one guard and the lever is open. And now I am really just focusing that on the nape of my neck. I like the hair to lay down and this kind of helps get all those little hairs that kind of don't really lay down. So I'm just going in and I'm lightly, I mean lightly tapering it. And then I'm just following up with my brush to lay the hairs back down. I also go behind my ears as well as on my sideburns so that it is nice and tapered behind there as well and it's a nice smooth transition all throughout the entire hairline. So this is what it's looking like after I've pretty much finished with the entire haircut.
I'm just taking a water bottle with a little bit of water and I'm just spritzing my hair to bring back some moisture and then I'm going to apply a nice generous amount of leave-in conditioner about a quarter size I don't need too much because my hair is short and I'm just going to be rubbing that into my hair thoroughly Next, I'm gonna scoop out about that much of the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream and I'm just going to rub that into my head. I guess you can say this would act as my cream product, but I just like it because A, it smells good and B, it really helps with retaining the moisture. I'm taking a finger scoop of Blue Magic and I'm just going to rub that into my hands and apply that to my hair. Now, I know some of y'all are like, I know that's not Blue Magic. Yes, it is. Let me tell you, ever since I've gone back to using this, my hair is flourishing. It grows so much faster and it stays moisturized. It seals everything in. So I'm not going back. I'm not. To seal everything in, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the Aunt Jackie's Bee Blast Oil and I'm just going to put that all over my head. I like this oil because it's nice and light so it doesn't weigh the hair down. Next, I'm just taking a fine tooth comb and I'm basically mapping out a part even though I barely have any hair but I do like to wear a part in my hair and it just helps me to know where I'm going to brush um, my hair down. So I'm just taking the hard side of that boar bristle brush and I'm just brushing my hair down, just laying the curls down. And here I'm just focusing on that part to get it more defined. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep brushing my hair until I get it to how I like it. So I'm taking that do-rag and I'm actually flipping it inside out. That way the seam does not create an indentation in my hair. And I'm just gonna tie it up, not too tight, um, making sure that I pull it down so that it's nice and flat and seamless and it's covering my ears so that everything lays down nicely. So here I am, I'm just taking off the do-rag. I think I had it on my head for maybe 30 minutes, um, as long as it took me to do my makeup. Sometimes I leave it on longer, and if I'm doing my hair at night, of course, I leave it on overnight. And this is what my hair looks like after the do-rag has been on it. My mama always calls me in the middle of any any time I'm recording. She always calls me. It never fails. Love you, girl. And here is the finished look. What do you all think? I just have to put a disclaimer out there and let you all know that I am not a professional licensed hairstylist or barber. I just do this to upkeep so I know everything is not perfect, but this works for me. If you all enjoyed my video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep bringing you all this wonderful content. So until next time, bye.